website. So we will know, we'll move forward. Um, the initial paper today uh, by the Bernada, I will focus on taxation a lot. And maybe Benjamin Franklin is correct to say two things are certain. That is this, and taxation. We'll move again to taxation with uh, Salah Marugarina. Uh, Salah is a senior management consultant and solution architect specializing in business transformation and business systems automation. And just to leave a secret, he has been working with IBM on modernizing the IRS. So he's a tax guy too. Um, 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 Salah is a graduate from University of Khartoum and has a master's in public administration from the University of uh, the District of Columbia as well as a master's in um, software engineering uh, uh, from, uh, from Penn State University. Um, he has been working uh, as a senior IBM consultant for a long time. So without further ado, I will introduce Salah Madhubar Thanks. I think I'm going to talk about a very dry subject uh, that uh, started, I think the discussion started this morning with Dr. Nada uh, about taxation. Uh, and the, the, the good thing that she started uh, opening open up the discussion on this subject, very crucial subject, I think people are not paying attention to it uh, that much. Uh, but what I'm planning to, uh, to present today He's talking about general principles or guiding principles for establishing tax system in Sudan that sustain uh, revenue to the uh, central government and local governments. Uh, and those principles are, are guided by the, the inspiration of Sudanese people to build uh, a government that represents them. And the most important things, I want that uh, strategy or this guiding principles is to ensure those pe the people of Sudan will pay for this government. I am not waiting for donation from uh, foreign states or from donors in general. Um, the, the slide I remind about about 10 principles. But before we start to talk about these ten principles, um, I want to talk about, I want to just list the, uh, the key questions that for every policy maker or every uh, politician, actually, they want to, to, uh, to run a country, that it comes to their mind when they stop, start talking about taxes in a direct system, not talking about in other systems. Uh, I think the most important thing is to make taxes or levies on people that should be fair and just. That uh, by being just, that at least everyone pay their fair share. Uh, fewer people evading taxes. So usually, if, few, if people are not paying their taxes, that, that means not just for, for the people who are paying it. The second question is uh, the, uh, how to ensure that when levying taxes or, or uh, put taxes on people, to ensure the, uh, the lowest impact on people's life, on the economy, and the most important things in the economy, if it's not in a positive sense, is at least to have taxes to be more neutral impact on, on the uh, on the people or on the economy as a whole. The third one is uh, it's, uh, how to manage the tax administration itself. I think Dr. Nada spoke about several uh, experiments uh, in uh, I think Ethiopia and uh, Rwanda, but uh, in, in general, Tax administration 
is one of the uh, of the, uh, the the key principles for uh, for having sustainable revenue coming to the government, uh, having a tax administration that is cheap or like has a low overhead on the people and on government, always uh, make sure it, it makes sure the sustainability of the system will go for uh, for the long run. Yeah, this is slide. This I want to to show that in a, in any country or state or community, uh, if you take the three parts of it, the government, uh, the, the government, uh, the business sector, and the people, and the interaction between the three three parties. Uh, I, this is I put this in the context that. Taxes itself is, I mean, the history of taxes, I mean, people always, when you think about taxes, it's, they think about the bad thing. But in a democratic system, it's, it should be a fair, the, the fair share or contributing share of the people and the business to run their government, their government. That is the, the key thing. So that's why this represents, in the, uh, rep represents this situation in. Uh, in any any democratic system, uh, so uh, and the way I actually try to make it like this is like the, the people, yeah, and that's what the Unasusuk or the Hekume. These are like the three the three pillars that run the uh, run the business of the community in general. So I will start going over the. Uh, on the front slides of those 10 principles uh, that I want to talk about. Uh, the first thing I want to assure, uh, those, those key principles, as I said, they are guiding principles. Uh, they are not strategies themselves. They are not uh, 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 like a, a policy recommendation, but they are guiding principles for any person who wants to build uh, a revenue stream that can uh, maintain and sustain a uh, government system independently and uh, for the, from the long term to cover the service of the people and to cover their uh, basic needs. So I start reading some of those uh, 10 principles and then after that I will open the floor for discussion on them. Uh, the first one, that taxation, I mean, this is the, fair, the first one, that taxation is the uh, citizen contribution to run their own affair rather than an extraction of a surplus by the power of the state. Uh, I will stop a little bit on this, and uh, because of the connotation, usually taxes, uh, uh, people have, when they talk about taxes, talk about the, uh, the coercive uh, way of government of asking for money. And the people of Sudan uh, in particular have a very vivid uh, history uh, in their mind, vivid in their mind, uh, of, of like authorities that extract taxes by force, dating back to the uh, Turkish rules. Uh, I mean, everyone remember the vice president and what they do to people, and it come all the way to the even the national government, the dean and the uh, and the colonial uh, power of the, uh, the British also. They are not better, a little bit better than the vice president, but they are not elevating the uh, that concept of taxes extraction of surplus uh, from the people. It's not it's not a contribution from the from the people to run their own, to run their own affairs. Uh, the second principles uh, for building uh, sustainable tax system that people that are willing to pay taxes when they trust the organization that run their life. Uh, in this case, the government systems and the parties who are running. Uh, 
and spending their own money. Uh, and I think this is, uh, there's no question about that. I mean, usually people are willing to, to pay money when they, they know there is something that is coming to them. And I, I remember, I think one of the philosophers, I remember their name, that I think he said, uh, I think the secular people, they should learn from the religious people uh, that taxes is always a bad thing, but charity is a good thing. So if, they, if you make people to think about taxes as something of their own, I think it's, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good thing. And this is it, it, it's not something done by policy recommendation. It's done in the long term by education, civic education, by, uh, uh, by a, a good media, positive media contribution from the, from, from, to the citizen that they are, they are paying for their own interest. Try to go a little bit faster, as there is the number three. That taxation should be levied on earnings and profit rather than on consumption and production of goods and services. And by that, I think this is kind of a technical term, but if you are all aware of that, uh, you see, you hear about income tax, and everyone in the United States, they know that they pay income tax, and there is sales tax and there is a VAT tax in Europe and in Sudan. Excuse me. So, uh, to have a fair tax system, always, I think the best, uh, the best way is to have taxes on earnings, which is salaries, wages, or uh, you can say profit, or capital gains, uh, but not on production. By production, I mean, if everyone know in Sudan that if you have a factory, you get taxed on every item that goes out of the gate of the factory. Uh, you tax even before you make earnings. Uh, and that usually, if you want to build the factory, you need to put in mind that you need to pay this, uh, this share part of your cost. And I mean, that discourages entrepreneurship, it discourages people even from getting into business. Besides, it raises uh, the prices for, uh, for the basic consumer goods. And taxes and consumption, like sale tax and VAT tax, it's easy for the government to collect, because it's straightforward, but it has the, uh, the regressive uh, impact on, on the low class or the low income people. So the higher your income, you pay less in taxes if that is on, on the consumer goods. Uh, uh, number four, that each citizen should know his or her tax obligations and use based on a predefined rate and tax credit. Rather than being assessed by a government agent and most of the time on discretionary uh, basis. And I think it's straightforward. Um, uh, I mean, citizens in every society, they should know that fair, I mean, what are they expected to pay? Okay, it's not free for all, like uh, someone just to tell you, okay, based on what I see, you pay this amount of taxes. So it's for a certain, in a certain period of time, you know how much you earn, and it is on you to report it. And I think this is the system of taxes uh, implemented in most of the, uh, I can say, modern societies, and it has its own history you know, of, 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 um, uh, of implementation. But uh, I think this is a goal that for the uh, future policy maker or current policy makers to think about, that to make uh, the tax rate public to the people, people know People know ahead of time what they're supposed to pay, and um, uh, and it's not and for the government agent is to audit that. Is that that's that's the only role for them. And I will show you the next uh, other principle. I think supporting this argument, uh, how that can happen. Uh, the sixth. Uh, this is the fifth principle. 
is the constitution of the land levies and taxes of movement of goods and services into local jurisdictions, uh, including states and towns. And here I'm talking about, I mean, everyone knows this, Gibayat done in, uh, in Sudan. If any person that owning like a cattle, a move from state to state, you need to pay for the uh, local jurisdiction a certain amount of money. And that creates corruption. And uh, uh, more than that, uh, increased prices for the end consumer. Uh, and it's ironic that I mean, uh, through since independence, uh, governments of Sudan, they sign multilateral uh, agreement and bilateral agreements with, uh, with neighboring countries to remove duties and tariffs while they're implementing those tariffs among, among the, uh, or in the, in the interstate commerce between the, between the regions on the, uh, uh, the towns. So this thing should be, uh, as, as I, I, I mentioned, to make a constitution in that uh, it, it, should, it, should, it should not be led for the liberty of the uh, town, uh, town or a local official to levy taxes uh, on goods moving between in, you know, in the interstate routes or maybe the beneficiary. Uh, uh, between, between cities. And to use the, uh, I think that what they're doing now, they're using the, uh, the checkpoints as, uh, as tariff, uh, internal tariff uh, co uh, collection point. Um, and that also brings us to the, uh, the sixth principle that to minimize uh, and to avoid double taxation on citizens on the same airline and wages. And I think this is uh, it's a no-brainer. Uh, when you pay taxes, you need to pay it once. Um, and I think that it is possible. I mean, I'm talking about this principle because practically that they are possible to be done. And, and they, can, they can fill the void of government uh, uh, budget. So to remind the taxation because it is unjust, and uh, double taxation usually happens when you pay your income tax and you go again and pay a uh, sale tax and you go again and pay a tax just moving something from place to place. Uh, so you just keep paying. And that is it, it, it was discussed earlier about, I think, uh, I'm, going, I think I'm, I'm going slow. I think on this, uh, I don't want to go up a little bit. And as I said, the dry subject, uh, I don't want to put you to sleep after this big lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, let's see, uh, uh, start moving on. Um, so the taxation, the micro taxation, is uh, the sixth principle. Uh, uh, seven and eight principles are going to combine them together. They should be scheduled and deadline known to all citizens so they know where their tax are due. Uh, Self-reporting of income taxes is calculated and paid by citizens, by people. Okay. Uh, based on mortgage tax rate rather than collected by state agent. Okay. Okay. I think I mentioned that earlier. It's, it's, it's coming the same, in the same fee. The, and uh, there's two things I want to mention this. I argue about it here. When you have taxes self-reporting, you increase the tax base automatically. But if you go, if you make it from the government agent to go and collect the tax, it depends how many people you have to collect the tax. So it's automatically you will get more taxes by, uh, by doing so. Uh, the taxation department, or in our case, the Chamber of Commerce, focus only on auditing, tax filing, and enforce the law on that. Let me have the right end of uh, On people who evade taxes rather than focus on business or door to door tax collection. Optimize the use of technology. This is number of reasons for me here. Uh, to automate tax administration, including payment, reporting, and auditing. And on the last bullet here, 
I think we are, and I think uh, I mentioned that too, we are in a stage uh, in the technology that this is possible and it's cheap. It's not as expensive as the traditional way of doing things. So the government of Sudan, I think they can put a system in place in a very short time for people to pay their taxes and to do, to do automatic auditing, to do automatic uh, fraud checking. All this is possible and it can be done. Uh, and I think we can start with the world end in this, uh, in this regard. Uh, I'm done here. I'm mean, just, just giving this slide to show that taxes is not a, it's not a zero sum game when you pay taxes. And you pay taxes, you associate this member of party uh, to your community and to yourself. And uh, I open the floor if you have any questions. And I hope uh, when, it was good enough again for you after this energetic uh, uh, presentation from uh, the next game. I think uh, I'm, uh, I'm again exit. <laughs> okay, um, thanks a lot. Uh, Dio, for a short period of time, let's make this very quick. A uh, couple of questions and answers, and please make it short. My first comment about this will be nobody talked about increased taxes at all. Not in the first presentation, not in the second presentation. It's called subsidies. That's maybe a more interesting and political issue when it comes to lifting the subsidies because I believe we will continue to subsidize gas or taxing. But who are we taxing? Who is paying for the six uh, cars in your driveway in Ariel or Amarat? Is the person who's riding a horse or chasing a donkey somewhere? That's the person who never benefits from this gas uh, that goes to private cars. Who's paying for bread? And as a Shamalia and Yabu or Rasa and as a Barib al Asida, they are paying for the city people. This is going to be a big bottle, especially now we grow up in an environment that Yakum and Bankadul, this year the Bankadul, that's been really sick. This will be a big channel. And I think the incoming government will need our help with that. That's a form of tax that is levied unfairly. I'll open the floor for a couple of questions. Okay, thank you. Um, the case for Zakat was made recently uh, by United States Democratic 2020 candidate Elizabeth Warren. She suggested that if we tax the top 5%, richest 5% in the United States, 2% annually, that will enable us to have free education, free health for all citizens in the United States. 2% from the top 5% or something like that of the implantation. So this, of course, the case for Zakat, because it has 2.5%. So, uh, so this goes along with the idea of connecting taxes to the creed of the faith or religion of the people in the country. So in our case, that. Uh, the other point I want to make is people in Sudan expect services of the government. They're not aware of the amount of taxes that we actually pay in the West. They see the West, the government provides a lot of services, and they expect the government to provide them with the services. They're not aware that some of us pay more than $100,000 a year in taxes. Okay, so awareness. I have uh, lived on planet Earth long enough. <laughs> I lived on the planet Earth long enough, okay? I was there, I remember October, okay? In Sudan, we have a history of uh, Changing governments, new faces come in with good intentions, shortly thereafter, corruption takes over. I've seen that October, Nimeri, Asadi, Kezan, and then it's, I mean, I wish, them, I wish it's well now. But I've seen this, you know, change of government with good intentions to begin with, and then, then the stop, then the day deteriorates. I am at a place where I think it's time, rather than elevating the government, it's time to elevate the people of the country maybe. Because we've had governments different all kinds of shapes and I have no success with that. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's time to elevate the people of Sudan. Educate them. Because yeah, government we try everything. Religious, not religious, communists, uh, whatever. My dad, my father was uh, was here at the government. 
Umi wa alfa na manpolis ka siya lang to give up to my girl. To not. I was there. I've seen everything change in the Okay? So I think it's time to elevate the people of Sudan. The other point I want to make is, I think because I was born in Sudan, I should be receiving $10,000 a month in my, in my account, <coughs> bank account. Each one of us. If we manage our natural resources, not that. We are very rich. So rich, one of the richest countries on earth now. Because water is the most important thing on earth today. And food. We have wealth, water, agriculture, livestock, minerals, uranium, nickel, iron, human capital. Human capital. We can teach the world. We, we can teach the world about peace. We are very peaceful people. We have it, you know, we used to be respecting women, our women. We used to respect our women. We have so many things, social even, to teach the world. So being Sudanese, because I was born in Sudan, I think I should be getting five thousand dollars a month in my bank account each month. That's how wealthy we are in that country. From natural resources. So we need to manage our natural resources. That's is that will not be a problem. We have a tremendous natural we have to elevate the people, educate them. Distribute the wealth equally, and we'll all be the richest. We'll be going around richer than any of the schools. Driving Ferrari. I'll make you drive Ferrari. Thank you. 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 Uh, presented today, the one in the morning, presented by uh, Dr. Nada, and this one about taxation. But um, I think um, the both papers are um, excellent. The problem um, we know uh, very importantly, um, we are developing country. The majority of people in Sudan, you know that 90% like of them for people. So, and the era after Enkaz, I think people should focus on how to encourage people to go to the production first. I think this is this number one issue we should focus on. Not just how to collect money. To collect money, that if already we have that money, and the problem is to collect it. What I know, we don't have that money. The people are suffering, suffering about a lot of things. The previous government um, using to collect money um, through different ways, not just taxation. You know that um, stamps, uh, 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 the so-called uh, the trip, مش عارف خزان تروح على كنانة والرهب مش عارف دي كمية من الحاجات الحكومة كانت يعني put more burden on the people كويس؟ تحت تسألهم تاخد قروش فدي دي نحن يعني I'm just wondering why we don't think about how to stop the things first and to clean the chunks okay؟ تعيب إلى عين تعيب أنا gonna be brief لكن يعني أنا بتكلم عن إنه عايزين طالما احنا بنتكلم عن الاكونوميك و هاو تو يعني بيلد جود سيستم اننا الفوكس بتاعنا ما يكون تو جيت اهيد ماني فروم ذا بيبل وي نيد تو هيلب ذا بيبل از يو سيد هاو وي كان سبسدايز ثينكس تو ذا تو ذا بان وي ليف ان ان ذيس كانتري ايفري ثينك سبسدايز ذا جوفرمنت سبورت ذا بيبل كاتينج ذا ذا ماني اور تيكينج ذا ماني فروم ذا ريتش اند جيف ات تو ذا بور We are poor people in Sudan and we have time to do it. Jamaa, Allah, in all sincerity, due to the expense of the health session that's coming up, we have to vacate this room on time so that it will be rearranged for dinner. Please, limit your talk to one minute or less. I'm going to give Salah actually a couple of minutes to answer these questions. I will go forward to the health session because I think uh, the discussion with this will never end and if you're around you can talk to Salah or everybody offline. Thank you. Yeah, I think so it's Salah, you got two minutes. minutes. Yeah, there are two comments actually that uh, provided by uh, Sadiq. Uh, I think 
think I agree, Sanya. It is it's time for people to take to take their share. And actually, it, it's happening. I don't. I think the Sudanese people. Uh, I think one of the things I, I didn't mention during my presentation that people uh, pay their fair share to the community in so many forms, and uh, we have our own vehicles of doing that. I mean, Kashif, in Fazaa. And that is always goes back to the community. It's not it's not of their own. Uh, taxes. When I speak to taxes, I'm answering a solid question. I'm not I'm not talking about uh, money collection here. It's how to finance uh, the government, the government that we choose, like a democratic government, that we choose to run our affairs. And uh, and usually the people who uh, pay the bulk of that are. Uh, are the ones who are lucky enough to earn more. Well, I mean, this is why I don't want to talk about how to uh, about devising the tax system, the progressive tax system, or flat tax system. He's talking about the basic principles of when, I mean, for any policymaker to think about it before, when, when they put tax together, when they want to levy taxes on people. I don't want to levy tax on Sita Shai. I mean, why do I want to do that? I want to just to make sure she had provide good public health share uh, for the people, right? It's not, I don't want to let it tax on her or let it tax on a traditional farm or somewhere in the far remote area in, in Kurdu Fan. That is not even getting anything from me as a, as a government. Um, so, and at the end of the day, I mean, you want the government intervention as small as it can. Uh, on this, to, to protect people, public safety, public health, uh, and that automatically will reduce the amount of taxes on people. But when you have a, a dictatorship, dictatorship wants to feel itself to rule you. Uh, that's why you see that this is, uh, I mean, uh, this government of this uh, of the Bias, I think this is the largest government system ever had in Sudan. Uh, it's from the regional, uh, the state governments to the central governments. They're everywhere. Uh, that that's the only way to maintain control. And that hopefully, and the, and the hope of the transition government is to start off on that. Uh, thank you, everybody. I think we'll basically come um, to uh, um, conclude this session and. We'll um, proceed with the uh, uh, health track after this. I think the big issue here is how to broaden the tax base so, and how to bring the informal sector in. And instead of having a release of the informal sector, how do we get all the farmers in one place, give up their land in exchange for shares, incorporate, have big impact so that they can go and negotiate and from the banks and get technical know-how and we bring the informal sector into the formal sector and both in the tax base. Thank you very much and we'll, uh, I think, uh, proceed to the next session. Thank you.